Hey, what's up everyone? Koban 456 here today, continuing my playthrough on Sonic Rush for the Nintendo DS. So, last time we did Zone 2, which is Water Palace right here, and now we're going to continue on and not go backwards. We're going to go forwards and go to Mirage Road, which is Zone 3. As you all can see right here, this is a desert stage. Don't really have too much to say about this stage because, you know, I'm really not that great at it, like, at all. But... You all are about to hear some fantastic music, probably the best music in this game. I'm just going to let you all listen to it for a bit. Let's do it! You all hear that, man? Listen to that music. It's just like da 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 da. da. Oh, listen to this part right here. This part's amazing too. Oh! <laughs> I don't know why. I just love the soundtrack for this stage right here. It just sounds all kinds of funky and just freaking amazing. It, it definitely fits the theme to this stage right here, and then just makes it even more energetic. That's why I love this stage so much. Alright, let's be careful here though, because I want to make sure we can actually get ourselves on the top pathway right here, so that, uh, at least I think we went on the top pathway? I want to actually try and get a special stage around here, because they're really hard to come by in this stage. You gotta actually search for them, but I know of one section- Oh! <laughs> right when I was saying that, we run directly into a special stage right here, so now we can actually go ahead and get ourselves the third Chaos Emerald. And as you all are about to see right here, um, things are going to get a lot more difficult around here. Definitely going to have to be uh, really fast with our uh, stylus here because they're going to be pulling off a lot of new tricks around here. But anyway, um, hopefully now the template shows up because uh, the first time in the previous recording, um, my template did not show up at all. I have no idea why. I think Vegas kind of glitched out or something for a second and prevented that from happening, but, you know. Hopefully now you all will actually see the template and let me know what you all think about it. But anyway, look at this. See right there? Look at this. They're definitely making you work a lot more now to try and get these rings and whatnot because you gotta weave in and out between these spikes, which is kind of annoying. Not too bad, though. I mean, if you know how to do it just right, I mean, with the stylus, it's really easy, so it's not much of a problem. See right there, look at that. Already near the 100, uh, actually we're way past the 150 ring goal. I have around 168 rings so far, so. Alright, let's try and get on this section right here. Alright, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Up. Oh. See right there, look at that. Definitely making things a lot more of a challenge. Anyway, hit those switches right there, and it makes rings appear, so make sure to take advantage of that, get some extra rings, and there we go. Went through that section right there and got 241 rings, almost 100 more than our goal. And now all we have to do is just get uh, 59 more rings, and we'll have ourselves the Chaos Emerald, which is definitely going to be easy, as you all can already see right here. I'm kind of nearly at 300 rings already as it is. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Let's take out these enemies. I don't know why, but the touchscreen acts so weird right there whenever I try to hit those enemies. It's like really hard to land a hit. Look at that. That's so cool. I like the things that they do with like uh, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and whatnot. They make, uh, what is it? You tr they definitely uh, change up things a lot to where you have to remember the pattern and whatnot. Alright, here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Wait, what the heck? Whoa! Wow, well, let's say I missed! What? What the heck? I totally tapped on 5 and then 6. That's retarded. But anyway, definitely got ourselves the Chaos Emerald as we end off the special stage with 426 rings. So that was really easy, not too much trouble at all, but things are definitely going to be getting a lot more difficult as you all already saw. That was the third special stage. We still have four more to go, so... Anyway, that's one Chaos Emerald in the bag, so don't have to be worried about that anymore. And ooh, be careful right there, because you can definitely get smushed. Sometimes the game will definitely screw me over right there. I, I, I really hate that section to where it'll just like screw you over and then you're just like dead in a heartbeat. 
All right. Dup, 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 dup. But I love the I love the art style to this stage. It reminds me of uh, you know the Sonic Adventure. Um, you know what is that stage called? I can't even recall. Pyramid Cave. That's what it is. It definitely reminds me of that a lot, but kind of like a 2D form to it. But as you all can see, like I said, you know these stages are really gimmicky because that right there is a little thing that they added to this game to where you basically get locked up in a room to where you have to take out these hordes of enemies and if you don't take all of them out then you're not able to progress so make sure you do that but the thing about it is that it really does break up the pacing because all we're just just doing is pretty much just boosting side to side and taking these guys out super easily it's not even a challenge at all so I don't know why they did that but you know, I guess they just try to slow down the whole boost to win thing, even though it technically is boost to win. <laughs> but anyway, here we go. One more enemy right here. Knock out in this room. There we go. Super duper easy. Alright, but now though, I'm going to go ahead and slow down and kind of let my boost gauge charge up. Because I think we're about to come to a section right here to where we're definitely... Dang it, I missed that shield right there. Which would have been actually really quite useful. But um, now we're on this section right here that I've always had trouble on because I always end up getting hit by these enemies around here. Mostly because of, uh, what is it, these boulders around here. That's probably the most annoying thing about the stage right here. Because these boulders will fall and then, you know, with whichever way the uh, thing is tilted, uh, the boulders will fa fall that way. Ah! See there, look at that. I hate this stage, mostly because of that right there. So boulders will fall, they'll hit you, and then you'll lose all your rings, and then you're pretty much screwed out of not getting an S rank, because I'm pretty sure I definitely would have gotten an S rank on this stage if I had not gotten hit right there. Which is why I always say I'm not good with this stage, because of that. Alright. Rock, stay away. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, I hate this stage. <laughs> Anyway, though, we are nearing the end, and there we go. Beat the stage in 3 minutes, 45 seconds, and if we barely get an A rank, I'll still be happy. Nope, we didn't even get an A rank. We got ourselves a B rank. Stage can suck my nuts. Well, at least that part of the stage. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Ready? Go! But see right here, like I was saying, there are a lot of gimmicks to the stage, because look at that. They'll have little things like this. You'll kind of be like... Uh, grabbing onto like handles and whatnot and sliding all over the stage. I don't know, I, I do like it, but it does. What the heck? I glitched out right there. That was weird. Um, but I don't know, it just feels gimmicky a lot. But at some point, it kind of does remind me of Hydra City Zone at times, or like Oil Ocean to where you're like sliding down sand instead of like water or oil or something like that. So I guess that's kind of cool. But anyway, yay, we're locked in another room with 10 wizards right here from the Sonic Heroes series. It's kind of funny, we're actually, they actually had a lot of uh, enemies from the Sonic Heroes series in this game, which is kind of cool, I guess. Kind of makes you think back, brings back memories about how we s destroyed all the- Whoa! Almost got penetrated right there by those spikes. That would not have been fun at all. What the heck? Alright, that was weird. Let's see right here, look at this. I think this game, though, would have definitely been awesome if they actually put it on the 3DS. Because look at all the 3D, like, gimmicks they put in these stages. To where you're constantly, like, going into the screen and whatnot. And are you kidding me? Are you seriously kidding me right now? I lost all those rings. Okay, you can die, you can die, there we go. Alright, get out of my face. Lost all those dang rings. But yeah, see right there? I think... I, I really hope they continue the Sonic Rush series. I know it's probably done now, but it would be nice to see on the 3DS again or something like that. But then again, you know, now that I think about it, I do kind of like, uh, you know, some of the... I did like the 3D stages and some of Sonic Lost World stages, so... Then again, maybe I don't want them to go back. Ooh! What the heck? All these traps around here trying to just screw me over. Take all my rings. Ooh, okay. Take those guys out. Now one more big boy right here. Alright, here we go. Get blasted! Get a load of this! 
from behind. Giggity. And yeah, that sounds really, really yeah, bad. <laughs> so far, ooh, I could go there, but it's not necessary. So when, why go there? I'll just let my boost gauge fill up with this invincibility. But there we go. All right, so those are two special stages locations. So if you have some trouble around here getting uh, to the special stage, you know, there you go. All right, but now we definitely have ourselves another 3D section right here, just to where Sonic can kind of go like up and down and whatnot. And are you kidding me? I'm so tired of that. I keep getting screwed over on these stupid things right here, like these stupid gimmicks. All right, die already. But see right here, look at this, you can go up and down, and uh, that way you can kind of choose a plane that you want to go on to take out these enemies. You gotta be careful. Oh my lord. All them rocks, man. Alright. There we go. I think usually the ones that are the enemies are the ones to where the boulders don't actually show up on the top of the screen, like right there. See there? Look at that. But now right here, we got ourselves an enemy. Alright. Easy enough. Full boost gauge. Alright. So far so good. I'm just trying to concentrate. <laughs> there we go. I think... Yes! We're done! Alright. Beat this stage. Mirage Road Act 2. And I'm pretty sure we're not going to get an S... Ooh! Just imagine if I had had all my rings. I would have definitely gotten an S rank right there if I had just had like eight more rings. But now, we must go to the boss fight right here. And this boss, I actually like a lot. It's really cool because uh, we're going to basically be going against this Scarab Beetle, which is uh, Eggman, and he's going to kind of push this ball around here. But uh, in a sec, what he's going to do is push it. And what you want to do is wait for him to uh, turn around so that you can actually hit the ball. It'll hit him in his hindquarters, and there we go. Got to do this eight times. So really easy. It speeds up a lot later on, and uh, he'll definitely pull, show off some new tricks later. But you know, besides that, it's really not that difficult at all. Basically, the spike ball will stay there for like three seconds, and then it'll be the regular ball for three seconds. So... Just make sure you time it right to where he actually flips around before you actually hit the ball. Alright, I think though, we got this. Should be easy enough. I think around uh, stage four of it, he's gonna actually switch things around. He's gonna start, yep. Just a second, he's about to start picking up the ball and he's gonna like try and toss it at us, which is kinda cool actually. Kinda try to outrun the balls and whatnot. Alright, though. Just stay focused. Be concentrate. There we go. Oh, look there! See right there? Look at that. I told you. I told you. He has a new trick. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Hit him this time. Hit him this time. There we go. Skadoosh! Nice! Not bad at all. Alright. This is where... Ooh. Ooh, that was close right there. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get him. Uh! Not bad. Alright, five hits down. Is he about to do it now? What the heck? He's not flying up to the top of the stage. Usually he does that to where he'll like toss the balls at you. Okay, he flipped around. Maybe I don't recall this boss as well as I did before. Okay, there we go. Alright, I know he's gonna... Ooh, he didn't jump! Ooh, snap! Alright. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alright, jump. Alright, here we go. Ah, oh, nice! One more hit, one more hit, and then we're done. Okay, is he? Is he gonna do it this time now? He's not gonna do it one single time. I guess if you just miss the ball one time or something like that, he'll go the... Oh, never mind. Here we go. <laughs> here he is! Okay, he's gonna start dropping bombs on you. So make sure you run, get like a nice spin dash start, and then jump, and you'll get yourself a nice boost right here. Look at that. There we go. Alright. Alright, he's gonna get ready to jump right here. Alright, there we go. Yes! And there we go. We finally did a boss flawlessly. Didn't get hit once, and we're definitely gonna get ourselves an S rank. Come back here, Eggman nigga. You get your booty back here.
Anyway, there we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, break it down. Break it down. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, kill. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go, got ourselves a perfect S rank. That was beautiful. Shoot! Fighting like this isn't really helpful. We need to find out the source of this problem. Sonic, we need information. Sounds like a good idea. Let's go look around. Alright, so now we get ourselves another... Oh, this must be Cream's house. Anyone home? Oh, what a welcome surprise! Hi, Tails! If you're looking for Cream, you just missed her! Woohoo! I sound like Mickey Mouse a bit. Hmm, I wonder where she went. She's out with a new friend! I don't recall her name, but she had an interesting purple outfit. <gasps> it's gotta be her! Ma'am, do you remember which way they were headed? I think they were headed toward the town. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go, Tails. Okay. My Cream's friends are always so busy. Alright. <laughs> I probably gave Vanilla a terrible voice. But didn't her voice sound somewhat like that in Sonic X? Or maybe I'm thinking about that, like, big fat maid that, uh... I can't recall Mike Pollock voice or something like that. Anyway, enough of that. That is it for this video. So, thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, subscribe so you do for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. If you enjoyed the video, like always, like I said, make sure to drop that like. It helps out a ton. And next time, we're going to be going to Night Carnival, which is obviously uh, kind of like casino, flashy lights base stage. So, we'll be seeing that in part four. Anyway, thank you all again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace, Cobra Knights.